Hi, I'm Becca, the Educational Outreach Manager at Edmund Optics. Today, we're going to talk about refraction of light. Refraction is when light bends when it travels from one medium to another. A medium is any substance. Here I have a glass of water and a popsicle stick. I'm going to insert the popsicle stick into the glass of water. As you can see, it appears that the popsicle stick bends at the barrier between the air and the water. Refraction is caused by a change in the speed of a wave of light when it moves from one medium to another. Just imagine if you're riding your bike on pavement and suddenly cross over to sand. Your bike is going to slow down when you move from the pavement to the sand. The same thing happens with light. When light hits a more dense medium, the light wave is going to slow down. When it hits a less dense medium, it's going to speed up. The same thing happens when I put this lens in front of my face. The light slows down and changes direction or refracts, making my eye appear smaller than it actually is. Now let's look at a ray of light traveling from a less dense medium, the air, to a more dense medium, the water. When the laser light travels from the air and hits the water, the light slows down and refracts. If refraction did not occur, you would expect the beam of light to travel in a straight line. But since the light slows down and refracts once it hits the water, it bends from its original course. Here I have a large beam of light traveling through a fish tank. When I put a lens in front of the beam of light, the light will refract. When I move the lens further away from the light source, the light will refract to a point. In most cases, when light waves speed up or slow down, they change direction. I am shining laser light through an optic. The laser light is starting at zero degrees, but when it hits the optic, it slows down and slightly bends. The laser light then comes out at four and a half degrees. So now we know that refraction is the bending of light and that light travels more quickly through less dense materials and it travels more slowly through more dense materials. Good scientists and engineers always test out scientific theories for themselves. To find instructions for these demonstrations, click on the following link.